Most know Charlie Dickinson as one of Sable's earliest town historians. Few knew him as a war hero. Even fewer knew him as one of Sable's first longtime gay citizens. Charlie had an amazing life, more amazing than most realize. His dad and mom, Jay Prescott and Delcy, were successful Sable business people. They provided Charles and Florence, his sister, with a good life. Jay Prescott Dickerson married Delcy Newton in 1902. One could say he married up. His wife had family connections and eventually property to help Jay Prescott Dickerson's career path. Jay Prescott became a very successful in the realty and insurance business. The Dickerson family can trace their roots back to 1642 with Philemon Dickerson arriving from Yarmouth, England. The J. Prescott Dickerson family moved to Brooklyn in 1905. J. Prescott got a job as a bookkeeper. The family lived in Brooklyn for about five years before returning to Sayville. Delcy's grandfather had passed, so the family moved back into the family home with their grandmother. After a short time working for Delcy's dad, John started his real estate and insurance business. Charles attended Old 88 and graduated in a class of 15 students in 1920. After graduation, he moved to New York City, taking a job on Wall Street with the New Zealand Insurance Company. About four years later, in 1926, they transferred him to Boston. In 1927, Charlie's dad was ill, so he returned home to help run the family business. By 1930, he took time off to take a worldwide cruise, visiting many countries around the world. In 1942, Charlie was drafted into the Army. He was 40. He started his overseas service in North Africa, then moved to Italy where in 1944 he was in the campaign to liberate Rome. He was wounded twice and received a Purple Heart, a shrapnel wound to the stomach, then a sniper bullet to the leg. Charlie received four campaign stars and with his company received the Cour de Guerre from General Charles de Gaulle. After the war, Charlie returned home and worked with his dad and sister at the realty company till he retired in 1967, after 40 years. Throughout the years, Charlie would spend summers at his home in Cherry Grove. He became a fixture in that community's history. He shared many historical articles about the early days of Cherry Grove. In 1976, he published his first book, History of the Sable Community. He also did a history of Cherry Grove. Charlie always had a love for the theater and performing. It started in school, then in church groups. Throughout the years, Charlie has been a member of many other community organizations. The Sable Congregational Church, a founding member of the Sable Alumni Association, the VFW, the Sable Historical Society, the Chamber of Commerce, the Rotary Club, a founder member of the Sable Musical Workshop, just to name a few. Charlie's been recognized by many organizations for his community service. 
including the Sable Kiwanis Club, their Man of the Year, and the Suffolk County News Inspirational Award. Charlie has been considered by many as Sable's historian. Charlie, however, was much more than that. His cheerful, quirky personality enabled him to navigate through a time when his life choices were never really seen, accepted, or even recognized. And yet, what a contribution he made to his community, and what a life that was. My sister knew Charlie from her days working as a server at the Whistle Stop on Main Street in Sayville. Charlie would come in for lunch every day. He would ask my sister what was on the menu. When it came to the dessert menu, she'd read the same menu choices every day to Charlie. The last thing on the menu was Jello. When my sister said Jello, he always chuckled and would say, I told you I don't eat anything that jiggles. They'd have a laugh. Well, 60 years later, my sister still thinks about Charlie and chuckles about Jell-O. Funny how we remember the simple things in life. A joke about Jell-O, a laugh. 